today we're going to be talking about how to get yourselves a freaking new Harley for the cheapest price possible. You know, a lot of people that reach out to me online and in person. Whoops. So I got a lot of people that reach out to me online and in person asking what I did, how much I got my bike for, and you know how, how they can get a, a low price as well. So you want to take advantage of the time of year. So springtime is when all the bikes are selling. Everybody wants to get out and ride. So anybody who's trying to sell a bike out there, remember that. Be patient, wait for the springtime. That's when everybody starts reaching out for bikes because they want to get out on the road. Fall, winter, that's when nobody's buying bikes. So prices are going to be a little bit lower because there's going to be a lot less interest. Uh, everybody's stuck inside. Weather's terrible. Pretty straightforward. All right, so timing helps. Now, let's say you've got your bike. The time of year is right. You're ready to move forward. Yeah, timing is right. You're ready to move forward. You know which bike you want. This is what you do. Pretty easy, guys. You find some dealers in your area and you shoot them all an email. You say, hey, I'm interested in this bike. What is your best price out the door? Don't bother asking about their website price, their you know retail price, whatever the heck. You want the out the door price. That way you know what it, what it will cost with all the fees included. There'll be no surprise when you go to sign your paperwork. All right? So you do the same thing for every single dealer in the area. Out the door price. And if they ask you to come in, don't bother coming in. Don't bother going in person because that's when they're gonna try to play you and mess around with you and play games and, and there's no point. Until the paperwork is ready, until the price is agreed upon, there's no need to show up in person. All right. Um, so what you do once you get a good price from one dealer is you take it to the rest of the dealers. You say, hey, I got offered this price out the door from this dealer. And then you keep going around and doing that with each dealer. Every time you get a new price or a better price, you take it to the other dealers and you have them beat the price. Rinse and repeat. All right. Now, let's say you've... Okay, oh, also, one more thing, guys. You may also want to reach out to a couple dealers that are nearby. Sorry, not nearby, but out of state that you could easily fly out to. You could pull off a flying ride. Now, the meaning behind a flying ride is you fly out there, you get your bike, and you ride it back home. The reason you can do this, or the reason you should do this, is because you could potentially save two, three grand. There's some dealers that will beat out other dealers by three grand, you guys. So that's one thing to take into consideration. All right, now you may also want to tally up your taxes and your title and all that once you buy it in a new state. I don't know how that'll work if you'll have to, you know, I don't know what the process is to flip it to uh, your state's tags and all that crap, or if you have to re-register or retitle it, or I don't think you'll have to retitle it, but the registration. So you'd have to look into that. Uh, now let's say you got your best price, right, from whatever dealer. This should be a pretty straightforward process, guys. You got your best price, and no other dealer can beat it. No other dealers can even get near that number. They say, man, that is a good offer. You should take it. What you now need to do is reach out to that dealer that gave you that best offer, and you say, hey, can I get a an itemized breakdown of, this, uh, of the out-the-door price? Meaning... You want a breakdown of all the costs that come into that final number. For example, you're buying a Road King and they're charging you 20 grand. Now, how's that 20 grand? How do they come to the 20 grand number? There's the MSRP on the bike, and then there's all these other hidden fees and title and so on and so forth, right? You want all those numbers. You want to see how much they're charging on hidden fees. This is where you break down their crappy fees. So yeah, anytime you see a hidden fee or whatever, you see that trying to charge you a documentation fee. Um, so anytime you see one of those bogus fees, I'm gonna I'm gonna put up a list of the fees that are bogus and the fees that are mandatory, that there's no way around paying. All right. Off the top of my head, I can tell you the documentation fee is BS. All right. 
if they're charging you five six hundred dollars for a documentation a documentation fee you need to tell them to lower that number immediately because that is just crap that's fee number one another fee that they try to charge you is a dealer prep fee you need to tell them to zero that number out as well if you go through the harley davidson website you could see in the disclaimers that harley davidson uh the corporation will reimburse its dealers for all dealer prep fees so any dealer prep that they do that is reimbursed by harley davidson so that they should not be charging you for any of that so you tell them that as well so this breaking down their hidden fees will get them to lower the number even more you could probably save yourself another 500 to a grand maybe even more than that there's some dealers that there are some dealers that just charge ridiculous amount of fees now on the flip side let's say you know you may not even have to do this last step all right what, what, what could happen is you get your number and you're like okay that's perfect that's the amount i was willing to spend let's just go with it if that's the case you know you could try to bring down some of their fees and save yourself a little bit more money but you might as well just you know you could just take the their their offer price it's up to you so yeah guys there you have it i mean it's it's a pretty straightforward process reach out to multiple dealers via email try to do this all via email all right they may try to call you at times just tell them man i'm too busy i don't have time to be talking on the phone yada 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 oh let's just go straight once they try to see you in person and they try to get you on the phone that's when they try to mess with you and try to gauge you and you know work their game so this is just I, these these tips i'm giving are off of personal experience these tips that i've used have saved me i could tell you three four grand on average so i mean oh wow this is do donuts all day I'm going to shoot the whole video just doing this the entire time. In summary, email a bunch of dealers, work each one down, ask for the out the door price anytime you reach out to a dealer. Out the door. Make sure you tell them, is that your out the door price? Don't mess around with any of their funny numbers or any of their games. Out the door price. That's all you need to worry about. Okay? Get the out the door price from one dealer, take it to the other dealers and rinse and repeat get the best offer keep spreading it around and have each dealer compete with the other all right once you finally work them down all the way and no other dealers willing to play that is when you start focusing on that dealer's offer and you try to break down that dealer's offer and lower it some more you have them show you the fees that they're charging in that price and that out the door price and then you start breaking down their fees some common fees i can think of off the top of my head uh so you have taxes and title that's usually a that's a mandatory fee and that's a standard amount they can't really inflate that number you should double check just to be safe you know you can't you get the tax for your city or your area and you find out the normal price it costs for a title and you make sure that number matches up with the number that they're giving you all right so don't let them charge taxes on some bogus stuff uh so there's that dealer prep fees again that's reimburse them so they should not be charging you dealer prep fees uh freight i think freight you have to make sure that you know you're not getting played when it comes to freight if you see that they have that bike in their showroom and they're trying to charge you $500 for freight, you should tell them they need to lower that number. Like 50 bucks is more realistic. Now, if they have to go and order your bike because you need like a custom color or something fancy or they don't have it in their sh in stock in their showroom, that might cost you a little more in freight. But still, you could always mess with that number and say, hey, you guys are charging way too much for this. Or It doesn't hurt, it doesn't hurt to question their their prices. Always have them break down their prices for you documentation fee that's another one that's bs it doesn't cost six hundred dollars for a guy to punch some numbers in and have them generate a paper 
That's stupid. Give them like 20 bucks for documentation because that is absolutely ridiculous. Now, if you have any other questions, just Google this stuff. It's all in HD forums. HD forums has questions that have been asked by people who have been trying to purchase a Harley like over the past 10, 20 years. I've seen, I've seen posts from like 2011. So you can find a lot of information off of HD forums. You can see what other people have paid for a bike and you can see what, you know, you're paying and what you've been offered and see if you could potentially get a better price in the future. Now, if you're getting hit with crazy high fees and crazy high prices, as soon as the new bikes have been released, then, you know, don't be surprised because everybody's trying to, you know, jump in and get the, the new year, the new model year bikes and, you know, business is going well for them so they don't have to, you know, lower their price for you. But, again, when you're buying a brand new bike from the dealer, just do as I said and you'll save yourself at least, you'll save yourself at least three, four grand, guys. Oh, let me tell you guys about a personal thing, all right? I'm gonna give you guys an experience I had when I was when I was buying my road glide. I got in there to sign the paperwork and the guy that was making me sign the paperwork was different from my sales guy. I think that's usually the case. And so I tell the sales guy, I'm like, where the hell did this you know dealer prep fee come from? Like I told the guy to zero that out and he agreed to. <clears throat> He's like, dude, we gotta charge that. You should have seen his smug, stupid face. He's like, we gotta charge that. Like, there's no way around that. I was like, there is a way around that. You know that HD reimburses you guys for that. Why are you charging me that? And he felt stupid. He's like, actually, no, he tried to play dumb. He's like, that's not true. Like, where'd you hear that? I was like, it's right on their website. Let me pull it up for you right now. I had everything saved up. And he, I caught him with his pants down, basically. He didn't even, he didn't even bother letting me pull it out because he knew it was true. So, all of a sudden his tone changed. He's like, hey man, we gotta eat too. We got, you know, we got families to feed. I, I don't care, dude. Go, you feed your family the way you need to feed your family. Don't be trying to rip people off so that you could feed your family and make an extra, you know, thousand dollars off them when they don't need to be paying that thousand dollars. This is probably why HD is suffering. It's because you got these moron dealers who are trying to, you know, inflate prices by two, three thousand dollars off of bogus fees. And they're playing you guys. So stop getting played. I'm sick of going to these dealers and they're throwing dumb numbers at people. People need to realize this. That way, you know, HD can stop playing these stupid games. Now, I'm sure you got your rich people out there that just walk in the dealership and say, hey, you know, I'll take your bike. They don't even play, they don't even bother negotiating. They have so much money that just like, all right, whatever, yeah, I'll take it. But for the vast majority of us, you know, we, we can't do that. So, you know, do your research before you go in and don't don't even actually just do your research don't even go in until your number is right don't bother going in now if you're going in on a day to just check out some bikes you get some work done on your bike or whatever it might be that's one thing but don't ever initiate a buying process in person it is stupid they try to be your best friend now this is just my opinion like I don't I don't like playing those dealer games I hate salesmen it's just too much it's too gimmicky it's too fake now you, you may feel differently, you may have a good relationship with your dealer, or you know, you might know some salespeople or whatever, but I personally could not care less for that crap. I'm just in there to buy my bike and dip out. I want to just ride. So yeah. But yeah, hopefully everything is laid out nice and clear for you. And uh yeah, any questions reach out in the comments. And uh, I'll, I'll get back to you. All right, homies. I'm out. Hopefully this answered all your questions. Peace out, guys. Hope you all have a nice Thanksgiving.